Hey, boss, boss. Someone who looked John Thomas down London for big trouble. Oh. Years after doing his migrimum with a mysterious woman, allegedly in 1994, the end product is here oh, seeking for a paternity test, claiming someone who is his father. So, according to Linda Ikeji blog official, a 27 year old man based in Delta State has claimed that the Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu is his biological father. Speaking with newsman at the premises of High Court 2 sitting in Eforon Uvi, local government area of Delta, the man who identified himself as Emmanuel Sonwolu said his mother, who hails from Olori um, community in the Udu local government area, told him that she had only him for Sonwolu before she married another man for whom she had other children. He said, I am 100% sure that I am the son of Governor Sonwolu. I just wanted to see the man, sir, as my father. Emmanuel, who told newsman that he does casual jobs to survive with his wife and three kids, stated that for the past 27 years, he has not seen his father. Counsel for Emmanuel, John, and uh, sorry for the name, Sha. Sha, Ai Bobo Martins also told journalists that the claimant was his client in a case in which the Lagos State Governor is a defendant, which came up for hearing before the court earlier on Tuesday, December 6. In the suit number EHC at slash 148 slash 2022 between Emmanuel Moses Sonwolu and Babajide Sonwolu. The claimant averred that he was the conjugal product of a congenial relationship that existed between his mother, Grace Moses, and the defendant in 1994-1995. Also, in his right of summons issued by J.O. Aibobo Martins, the claimant is praying the court for the following. A declaration that the defendant is the biological father of the claimant begotten from Madame Grace Moses of O'Leary Delta State. An order directing and compelling the defendant to acknowledge and accord the claimant all the rights of a son in accordance to all the laws applicable whether customarily, statutorily and constitutionally. An order of perpetual injunction restraining the defendant from further denying the, the parenthood of the claimant. The claimant in the 19 paragraph statement of claim attached to the right claimed that Governor Sonwolu was a staff of a private company operating in Wari and East Environ in Delta State from 1994 to 1995. And in the course of working and living in worry, that period, he had an amorous relationship with a girl known as Grace Moses. Wow. And here is Babajide Sonwolu's response to what the 27-year-old man claims. And he said, um, according to Instablog, Governor Sonwolu invokes immunity clause as a 27-year-old man alleged that the Lagos governor is his father. Governor Babajide Sonwolu's lawyer have invoked the immunity clause in a paternity suit at the Eforon Division of Delta State High Court to prevent their client from submitting to a DNA test. People's Gazette reports. Ha! Huh? Wahala! Wahala! Everything happening at the same time. Now, the big question is Babajide Sonwolu or Governor Babajide Sonwolu. We are you in Delta State between 1994 and 1995, just as this guy said here. Some people just they talk, they talk like say maybe if not them, this can't happen. They don't go just wake up one morning, go begin to find their papa. Like the way people are reacting, they just they backlash this guy, just they tongue lash me. I'm kind of uh uh-uh. How can a grown up man like this wake up one morning and claim that Babajide Sonwolu, governor of Lagos State, is his father, knowing fully well how connected and how we knowing the consequence of his actions if it happens to be lies anyway it's still alleged though till proven otherwise but, but then again why is babajide Sonwolu avoiding the dna test the boy is requesting for if he knows that he is not the biological father of the guy yes so as the saying may goes they say they f- um, a clear conscience fears no 
accusation. If he is free and he knows within himself that he had nothing to do with the said grace back then in 1994 to 1995, have he? he should come out with his foot chest and do the needful, you know, to prove himself right, at least if not for anything, for his dignity's sake. Meanwhile, something caught my attention. This guy now, this man, this 27-year-old guy, claiming Babajide Sonolu is his father, at 27 year old he already has three kicks sir. three that means now for Berlin begin the dock the docking team no start today now eh he did for DNA since Babajide Sonolu had him back then and he's already 27 so my not sit from the recent age Babajide is now if the story is true then you're gonna say yes so it runs in the DNA so these are some of the reactions that this person said why is he invoking immunity if he know they're guilty if he be one of those NYC, NYSC paroles or flings where some men, they do anyhow. Why are you running? Why are you running? He should just do it and clear the air. It's even less stress if the man turn out not to be his kid. And this other person said, if the DNA test is positive, someone done effortlessly become grandpa. Nice one. Then this person say, I no see any facial resemblance, Sha. Yeah. This comment, you get Kayla go. What happens to the gene, eh? Eh? What if you say the guy is Embu in Mama? Must the the guy is Embu Babajide Sonwon facially before knowing that this guy is his son? Allegedly. Let the DNA prove the actual result. Oh. Hmm. And this other person said, Aboki Omo, Alagidi, Omo Lile. Mm-hmm. I don't understand that one. Yoruba, uh, Yoruba brothers can help us to translate. Why this other person said, um, you can't say you are born in Nigeria, just have a data. Of course, so normally, Nigeria cruise, better, better cruise. This country, forget what we lack for this country in a bad government. So, anyways, with that being said, my own is the needful should be done. Someone will provide yourself. The boy should come out. Let the DNA test be done. Then, last, last. Now talk go end them. Everybody go do it all right. But the rightful thing has been done. With that being said, that brings me to the end of this video. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Please do give this video a massive, massive thumbs up. With that being said, that brings me to the end of this video. Guys, if you're watching for the first time, this is Ladley Woman on Courts. On this channel, we react, analyze, we give friendly gist celebrity news, true crime and true crime stories. Thank you for watching. Please, before going, do not hesitate to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on notification bell to always get notified anytime I drop new video or videos. To my Tony subscribers, you guys know how we roll. This video can never be complete without me appreciating you guys. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing. Love you guys to the moon and back. I had to be plenty. Bye bye for now. As I'm signing out for my next one, peace out. Love you all. Que messiano. Bye.